Hey everybody, what is up? This is Andy and this is my review over the Blue Snowball Microphone. This bad boy right here is probably the best USB microphone that you can get for your money when you're first starting out. Uh, you can get it for less than $50 right now on Amazon. The link is in the video description below. Let's get right into this review so you can see how the start of the show sounds. Okay, so now I am recording into the Blue Snowball microphone, and as you can tell, it does have a very nice, clean, crisp sound, and this is the closest you're gonna get to professional studio sound quality for the value. The first thing that I wanna point out is the build quality. It's very solid, very solid build quality. I've had mine for over four years now. It's suffered many drops, and it still works perfectly. I've never had a problem with it so far. Now this nice little tripod stand is included in the box with the Blue Snowball microphone along with a nice five or six foot long USB cable and the instructions. The tripod stand has three retractable legs that you can adjust. As you can see, I put my iPhone next to the Snowball so you can get a sense of how big the tripod stand is. The Blue Snowball itself does not take up very much room at all. It's got a nice convenient compact size to it. And the round part of the microphone fits into my hand very easily. I can hold it up and move it around if I need to hold it like that instead of putting it on the tripod. You do have the ability to take the Blue Snowball microphone off of the tripod stand if you need to put it onto another microphone holder. Another great feature about this microphone is it's very easy to use. Uh, there's no software required, it's plug and play. You just take it, you plug the USB cable into your computer and then plug it into the back of a Snowball microphone and you are ready to record. It's compatible with Windows 7, Windows 8, and Mac OS 10. There is no power button on the Blue Snowball once you plug it into your computer. It does get power through USB and the light will turn on on the front so you know that it is turned on and working. On the back of the microphone, you will see that it has three different settings that you can choose from, and I will go over what those settings are and how they sound. So far, I've been recording at setting number one, and this is the cardioid mode, which is mainly used for podcasts, vocals, even vocal singing, voiceovers, anything that you're speaking directly into the microphone. That's what setting number one is for. Now let's switch over to number two. Okay, now I'm recording in setting number two, and this is a cardioid mode as well, but this has a negative 10 dB pad, which means it'll help capture louder sounds, but keep the quality of it. So if you're recording something loud, such as loud music or instruments, uh, then this is the setting that you would want to use. Now let's go over to setting number three. Okay, now I'm recording in setting number three. This is the omnidirectional mode, which picks up sound equally from all directions. And this is best for if you wanna capture all the noise in a room, if you wanna pick up all the background and ambience noises, if you're in a interview or a conference, or you just wanna pick up all the sounds in a certain area, this is the setting that you wanna use. It's omnidirectional, picks up all the uh, sounds from different directions. All right, so now I'm back at setting number one. And I wanna talk about the only downside about this microphone that I've found, and it's the recording level is quite low when you're recording into this microphone. And as you can tell, I'm very close to the microphone. Uh, you do have to be close to the microphone for it to pick up that nice sound quality, that rich sound quality from your voice on this. Even right out of the box, even with my input control almost all the way turned up on my computer, you still have to be close to the microphone for it to pick up a nice quality sound of your voice. So I'm going to back up a little bit and show you what it sounds like. Okay, preferably I would like to be able to be back here at this distance away, uh, which is about five, six inches away from the microphone. Uh, but as you can tell, it's very faint, uh, it's quiet. So you do have to be up close to the microphone like this for it to pick up your uh, the sound of your voice very well. And since you do have to be so close to the microphone when recording into it, I do recommend getting a pop filter like this so you don't get those, p those pop sounds from those peas like pop that popcorn, baby. You know, you don't get that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what it sounds like when I put the pop filter back on. Okay, so now I have my pop filter back on and uh, this thing cost me about $13 on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, this really helps on uh, getting the best quality out of your voice. It doesn't get those P's or B's uh, or S's. <laughs> so I really do recommend putting a pop filter on the Blue Snowball since you do have to be so close to the microphone when you are speaking into it. But one thing to note about you having to be so close to the microphone to record, uh, the good thing about that is that it doesn't pick up any of the background and ambient noise that you don't want if you're on setting one. So if you're just talking into the microphone like I am now, it does a great job at eliminating any background noise or any small noise such as you typing on your keyboard or anything like that. It does a great job at not picking that up. 
Okay, so that about wraps up my review over the Blue Snowball microphone. Overall, it's a highly recommended product by me. Uh, this is definitely something you want to get if you're creating any type of content online, whether it's online videos for YouTube or you're recording any type of audio, this is the microphone to start out with. So if you want to order this microphone again, the link will be in the description below for Amazon at the best price possible. If this review helps you out, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later.